Hey guys, Game Person here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Aureli SKT2 gaming mouse. So this is the box of the mouse, and this is what it looks like. Here are the features of the mouse: four selectable colors, six responsive buttons, and 4,000 DPI. So yeah, it's good. And as you can see, the last one says logo illuminado. That probably means that the logo lights up. But yeah, if you know what that means, tell me in the comment section. So here's the specifications. It says interface USB 2.0 slash 3.0. Cable length is 1.5 meters slash 5 feet, and it has a range of DPI settings, and you can have 5 million clicks or more. So uh, yeah. Here is the box, I'm just showing you this, all the sides of the box, the design of the box and stuff like that. So I'm going to open it up here, uh, as you can see this is the gaming mouse, I'm just going to pull it out, put it to the side, show you what else is in the box. So this is what the mouse looks like, uh, let me just put that to the side. Um, so I'm going to take this out, this is the manual for the mouse, it says Super Gamer Deluxe Mouse, so yep. Yeah. And those are the features at the bottom. You can go read those. Uh, they're probably the same as uh, on the box. And here is the guide on how to use the software. So that's pretty cool that they put this in with the product because uh, it might be hard to use the software and it's going to point out main things that you could do with the software. So let me just close that back up, put that to the side. So the next thing is the little leaflet saying we'd love to hear from you. So that's pretty cool that they uh, really appreciate their customers and appreciate them buying the product. And here is a little letter saying thank you for buying the product. So that's pretty cool. Here is a little disc. This is the installation disc of the drivers and software. So uh, yeah. This is an uh, installation disc, it's a mini CD, but it doesn't matter because all of a really software is on their website. Just go check out their website, the software would be on there. That's all that's in the box. I'm gonna go and take the mouse here and show you what it looks like. So this is what the mouse looks like. As soon as I touched the mouse, uh, I noticed it was a matte finish, a fully matte finish. So it is very smooth and it feels very comfortable in your hand straight away when you feel it. And on the side where your thumb goes, there's a little engraving on the side it makes it have a nice feel and it has a really nice grip to it. So if you can see there, there's a little engraving so it makes it feel very nice and high quality. And there was two buttons on the side right above that. and yeah it's pretty good because you can program those keys to do whatever you want normally in a browser it will go backwards and forwards and yeah as you can see on the right mouse click it says excellent touch uh, the O looks kinda like a D so I think that might have been an error but if that wasn't an error then please ignore this hopefully it wasn't an error as soon as I opened the cable I noticed the cable was really nice length just uh, good for uh, like an average computer user and it was a braided cable so that means it's extra strong and it would not rip out of your computer here is the our really logo pretty good logo and that lights up when you plug it in to the computer so here's the back I'm not really meant to be showing you this but <laughs> I'm just going to show you what the bottom looks like and the grip of the mouse is really nice and the mouse feels really smooth and it uh, feels very nice in your hand it will fit every person's hand here is a size comparison of the mouse and it lighted up green so this is what it looks like compared to a PS3 controller so if you know what a PS3 controller looks like that's what it looks like so yeah it's pretty good so I'm gonna run you through the software that comes with the gaming mouse and yeah I'll see you on the PC so this is the software that comes with the mouse, you can get this from the disc that is provided with the mouse and you can get this online uh, for free from the Al Really website. So this is what it looks like, it's very good software from any mouse I've used because I haven't used very good mouses, this is my first proper gaming mouse. So you can change the colours of what DPI setting you want, so I, I got green for the highest DPI because I, I want to use the highest DPI so yeah it's a pretty good gaming mouse because I've been using it quite a bit and 
works really good. You could change the report rate setting. I think a thousand is the best, but uh, you could change that to your preference. And you can literally do any color you want. So, like, you can go to custom colors. You can like look around there, and it'll be pretty cool. Obviously, you can't do black because black is not a color, really. And you could change the mode. So the mode is standard mode right now. That means that the light is always on, it never turns off. Or you could change the opacity here, or you know, brightness. Click apply and then the brightness would go down on your mouse, of course. But uh, I like it 100%. So yeah. And you could change the effect. You, you can't change it for standard mode, but yeah. So in this mode, respiration mode, that means that it pulsates. So it would uh, the color that you chosen, it would turn that color on. It would fade in, fade out, fade in, fade out, fade in. So that's how it works. So it works very very well in the dark. So if you want to turn off your lights and you can see the lights on the mouse pulsate. And neon mode is my favorite mode. It goes through all the different colors. So yeah, <clears throat> this mouse is pretty good. Can change the key settings so you go to uh, default and you could change the key settings I don't know how oh you could change the DPI loop you could change the forward backwards mid click right click left click but yeah you can customize your keys uh, DPI loop you could change that but I don't want to change that at all because I wanted to do DPI loop of course and you could make macros in uh, this uh, software yeah you can make macros in this software so that's pretty good I guess so the software is really good the link to their website would be in the description please check that out hopefully you enjoyed this review and testing of the mouse thanks for watching guys and subscribe for more gaming related reviews and gameplays on my channel so thanks for watching and bye